He's going to destroy the world. A great flood is coming. We build a vessel to hold the innocent. Mama! Yes! Them! What do you want? Did you really think you could protect yourself from me in that? It's not protection from you. When they come, they will be desperate and there will be many. Noah. It begins. So I watched Noah yesterday and I love it. You are amazing. Thank you. And it's a film about Noah, but there are two powerful women on the movie, mm -hmm. Ila and Na Nami. Mm -hmm. So what do you think about that? Because uh, thinking about like many years ago, it we couldn't see like a powerful woman in a Bible movie, you know. I think it's a really, I think it's a really good point. I mean, if you actually go back to the original biblical story, the women who are on the ark aren't even spoken of at all. So I think actually that was a great adaptation of Darren's, um, you know, making sure that the women in the story had a voice, and they also had a very strong voice. I mean. Name and Ela are incredibly powerful and integral to the story in their own way. Noah goes to them for advice and for counsel, um, and their wisdom and their intuition are are really, really important, you know, cornerstones of the of the story. So um, I feel really proud to be part of a film that, you know, has such strong female like role models in it. And how is to be acting with unreal things? I mean, you've done more of it than me with some yes, of the films. Yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, it's uh, you know, it's. You just use your imagination. You have fun. Uh, it's what I enjoy to do. Uh, you know, doing so. It's a challenge. I like it. But yeah. actually, on this film, there was they built so much, so much of the sets. Like when I read the script, I yeah. thought we're going to be on a soundstage in front of a green screen for a huge amount of time. But actually, Darren wanted to build as many of the sets as possible. Ella has to go through that tough period. Uh, that a girl has to become a woman, mm -hmm. and you've already gone through this. Mm -hmm. So, which which do you think is the hardest part in this this moment? Oh gosh, I guess learning to trust yourself, um, knowing yourself, um, and you know, standing on your own two feet, standing in your own space, uh, and yeah, just just believing in yourself. It, it takes time, but when that moment does come, I think it's. Um, it's really, really powerful and, and rewarding. And which was your favorite moment on behind the scenes? Uh, we went hiking in Iceland, which was great. Oh, yeah. Fun. Oh, yeah. Yes. That was difficult. We also, all of us, me, you, Emma, and our friends, went out to uh, hot springs in Iceland. We went mm -hmm. driving through rivers and stuff. That was fun. Beautiful. Went yeah, to see Jay Z film. together in, in Brooklyn. Jay Z was a lot of fun. Um, I, I remember being on set, and um, <clears throat> I remember my, my brother and my best friend came to visit. Oh, okay. and, uh, and and we were kind of tripping out, you know, being that, oh my God, we're on set and we're behind the monitors with Darren <laughs> Aronofsky because we're all huge fans of his movies. Yes. And then Russell came over and put his hands on my best friend's shoulders and said, hey, kid, <laughs> you want to learn how to uh, chew on chewing tobacco? And we're like, yeah, sure. So he taught us how to chew, chew chewing tobacco. And uh, my friend got very sick because he swallowed it. <laughs> and he was imagine. trying to act very cool about it, like <laughs> not showing how nauseous he got. Yeah. If the world ends tomorrow, what would you do first? Like, besides be with your family and stuff? Oh, yeah, be with my family and my uh, friends. I don't what know would if you I'd do, do that. Uh, just kidding. <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, world's going to end tomorrow? Yes. I'd go somewhere beautiful. I'd go skiing or I'd... I'd do something. I'd do as much yeah. adrenaline-filled stuff as possible, and then hopefully just die during the act. And then, if the world was going to end tomorrow, yes. oh my goodness, um, gosh, there's so many places that I wanted to see that I wouldn't have had the chance to see yet. So I guess I'd get straight on a plane. Um, and gosh, go to Brazil, maybe. Yeah, maybe go to Brazil. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I like break through the boundaries of social restrictions. Like, I'd just take off my well, clothes and run around naked. Yeah. They'd love that. I'm sure the teens like, would love we're that. We're all gonna, gonna die. They're all gonna, they're gonna like, yeah. tween you. It's yeah, the end of the world. Or, so we get Guess what, everybody? <laughs> if we're gonna die, here's my 
<laughs> and which item of your closet would you pick first? Uh, pajamas. Yeah. I would definitely see off the end of the world in a pair of pajamas. <laughs> yeah, I'd be comfortable. And I've read that you couldn't wear makeup during the shooting because of Isla. And we can even see your freckles. How was to to see yourself in the big screen without makeup? Well, it's nerve wracking because you're used to having so much makeup put on you. But um, I actually loved it. It was so liberating and. I actually really like my freckles and yes. so often for photo shoots or whatever else they airbrush them out and I loved that you got to see that I'm actually very freckly. Now Jones. both of you have to tell how is to kiss Emma Watson. Well, it's strange because when you're in the moment you're acting on film but you can't it, it's your character that kisses this person so you, I can't really remember what it was like for me but it was it was fine and we've known each, I've known her for six or seven years so it, it wasn't awkward we trusted each other it was very comfortable so and there's it was fine. that scene that there you two run and yeah. then kiss. Yeah. Have you bumped it into each other? Oh, we kept bumping into each other. <laughs> <laughs> Our lips were bleeding by the end. We yeah. kept head butting. It's kind of yeah. like kissing your grandmother. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I want to play a game with you. I brought some images and I want you to <laughs> say the first thing that comes to mind, okay? Okay. So. Logan! I worked with him in the parks of being a wallflower. Um, he's such a sweetheart. And he plays my brother in Noah, so that was really great. Emma oh, Watson. Watson. Beautiful eyes. Lady. You lady. Woman. <laughs> Female. Very <laughs> like. Douglas! <laughs> we were in a Burberry campaign together when we were about 16, and uh, he plays my husband in Noah. Yeah. You're a pixie cut. Yes, I cut all my hair off. It was a great moment. It was really, really fun. I remember they actually shaved the back of my head. Um, yeah, it was it was really fun. If I could keep it that short, I would have it that short all the time. Oh, Miley that, Cyrus. That's Miley. Um, yes, Miley Cyrus. I think of Miley Cyrus. I think. <laughs> you already skim skimpy. Yes, <laughs> skimpy. Yeah, I mean she's more more skimpy skimpier stuff. She's than very that. different yeah. from LOL, right? Yeah, but yeah. she's the same person. Kind of reminds me of, of what's that character from Rugrats? You know oh, Rugrats? Yes, you Rugrats. Come on. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Harry Potter. <laughs> that was me, aged. I would have probably been about 14. I think that was from maybe the second Harry Potter film. Yeah. Look at those bangs. <laughs> you have something to say to your Brazilian fans? Just thank you so much for all your support. I know you're really, really, really supportive fans and uh, I just really hope that you will like this film as much as I as I do and uh, enjoy it as much as I enjoyed making it. Thank you, Emma. Thank you are the sweetest.